What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Side of Attack once again, and today I have the review of the hash rates for the Intel Arc Limited Edition 16 gigabyte model of the A770. And this one actually puts itself in a unique position where it could be considered a purchase over some of the other Intel Arc models, just depending on which algorithm you're actually going to end up mining. Let's get into the details right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Coastal Crypto. Coastal Crypto can be found at CoastalCryptoMining.com via the affiliate link down in the description below. They don't want to take up a lot of your time and neither do I because I want to get into the video. They are here to help miners find parts. If you're looking for ASICs or even GPUs or any other parts, be sure to check them out. Use promo code SOAT at checkout for 5% off any purchase on the website. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and go over the specifications. Of course, this one is going to be the top of the line model, meaning that the amount of XE cores you have is going to be the max amount that you can get currently on an Arc series, the amount of render slices, the amount of ray tracing units, all of that, right? Ray tracing is not going to really affect mining as much, but your XE cores are going to, of course, your graphics clock goes up to 21 mega, 100 megahertz. Now, in the software, you can get this locked up to the slider goes to 2400 megahertz. What I found is 2200 megahertz is pretty much its cap before it starts doing weird throttling things. It does run across a PCI Express 4.0 by 16 and that is pretty much all of that memory specification 16 gigabytes that's going to be the big deal here that's going to set it apart from other a770s they only have eight gigabytes and of course apart from the a750 when we're talking about mining it is running gddr6 on a 256 bit bus just like going all the way down to the a750 but it is clocked higher at 17.5 gigabits per second which gives it a total bandwidth of 560 gigabytes per second compared to the 500 and 12 gigabytes per second that's found on the a750 and this is really where you could consider some potential benefits from a memory perspective however it's just not that much higher things may be different once we get overclocking for the memory itself but as it sits the 512 to the 560 isn't a huge noticeable increase when you consider the fact that you're also increasing the power consumption at that level now it does support of course all your typical new stuff and you shouldn't have to worry about that this one comes with DisplayPort 1.4 DisplayPoint 2.0 up to uh, UHBR 10 it has HDMI 2.1 and HDMI 2.0 B support and then as far as the power goes you're gonna have a single 8 pin and a single 6 pin power adapter with a total board power of 225 watts and that will be dependent on your power supply as well as the type of voltage you're running on your particular rig let's get into the hash rates now starting off with a lithium we ended up at 1.71 giga hash a second at 210 watts and this was with the core overclock to 2200 megahertz which is like i said pretty much the cap before it starts throttling now we don't have actual temperatures on this so it's hard to tell if it's throttling from actually not being able to hit higher clocks or throttling from temperature but i have found pretty much across the board meaning the a770 8 gigabyte and the a770 16 gigabyte this is pretty much the cap on the core on dynex we had the video that you should check out on tripling your Dynex hash rate. It does involve running three miners, three instances of SRB miner in particular, and that gets you 3.34 kilohash a second at 110 watts, which is frankly pretty good. Then we took a look at Ergo, and Ergo was at 118 mega hash a second. We did lock the core down to 1400. It will go up to 128 mega hash a second if you don't lock the core down, but it's not worth it with the amount of power consumption extra that it starts to take. This was at 80 watts at the wall, so pretty impressive, and I think that the Intel Arc series is proving to be extremely potent on Ergo. Now we did have this error that I was talking about earlier 
and this was without any overclock on the core and it was trying to push it above 2400 and you can see here it was at 410 mega hash a second on cast but this at 2150 and that pretty much will stay at 410 mega hash a second but you'll have to lock that core down to 2200 megahertz like we showed you earlier so caspa did end up being around 410 mega hash a second and that was at 210 watts but of course with caspa the move to fpga and the potential move to asics has pretty much made gpu mining on caspa kind of irrelevant at this point in my humble opinion at least for most home miners due to the power cost Next, we had Ethereum on LOL Miner, which does have support now. We locked the core down to 2100 megahertz or left it pretty much at 2100 megahertz. This did put Ethereum at 170 watts at the wall at 48.76 mega hash a second. Probably could do some more tuning on the core, but this is pretty much where we're at right now. Just wanted to get a quick number. And then finally, we have Radiant at 608 mega hash a second at... 210 watts at the wall, pretty much just like your Alephium and your Caspa. So anything core related is going to push you in that realm. Finally, we did run it through a calculator at this point, and you are profitable on Dynex at 23 cents a day with this particular GPU, and that's really where it shows its strength. However, if you do take a look at Ergo, it is breaking even right now, and depending on your power cost, it could be profitable on Ergo. And these Intel arcs are really proving to be exceptionally good at Ergo. However, due to the amount of power consumption increase on the A770, you will actually be profitable or more profitable on an A750 than you are on the A770 because they get the same hash rate at less power consumption. So that's something to take into consideration. Up to 10 watts less on the A750 over the A770. On the rest of these, they are in the unprofitable range as far as on Alephium, on Ethereum Classic, ETHW, and Radiant. So wrapping this up, of course, the A770 sets itself apart in one particular algorithm right now, and it requires a kind of workaround to get working, and that is on Dynex. If you are not going to be mining Dynex, or if you want to kind of bounce between Dynex and some other things, you may want to just go ahead and consider getting the A750 as on algorithms such as ET hash and Ergo, it does the same amount of hash rate at less power consumption. So it's really where you're at. If you are hoping, you know, in the future that there is more support on Intel's for other algorithms, then we, you could potentially buy these as kind of a a future proofing with the 16 gigabytes it is the cheapest gpu currently available with 16 gigabytes of memory which is something to note and you do get the slightly faster memory speed which in turn could mean that it overclocks better once overclocking is available for the memory but as it sits right now i'm really still pretty heavily leaning towards the intel arc a750 outside of the fact that i do think that resaleability on gpus in the future will account for higher memory uh, capacity than um, than it has in the past just due to the amount that is being required by games these days and so from a resale point i do kind of think well maybe the a770 is the way to go because you might have a better resale ability in the gaming market later on these are all my thoughts surrounding the intel arc a770 limited edition 16 gigabyte i hope you found them useful hit the like comment subscribe down below and i'll see you next tuesday